DJI never provided any document about DJI FPV rates. I'm going to explain to you as simply as I can what they are good for. The roll pitch and your axis are the three dimensions of movement when an object moves from the DJI quad view. The roll axis is a circular clockwise or counterclockwise movement of the quad as it moves forward. The pitch axis is when the nose is up or the tail is up. The yaw axis is when the nose moves from side to side. From the remote controller view, the roll axis is a circular clockwise or counterclockwise movement of the quad as it moves forward. The pitch axis is when the nose is up or the tail is up. The yaw axis is when the nose move from side to side. Center sensitivity. This value is used to determine how well movement of the joystick near the neutral center position translate into actual movements of the drone. If the value is very high, the slightest movement of a joystick placed in neutral triggers a strong reaction from the drone, so much that with a value of 1000, the aircraft cannot be controlled. It pitches up or turns over instantly. The default value is 160. If you go down to 120 or less, the device will be less nervous in the center of the joysticks. In one center, center sensitivity is how much the movement of the stick at the center position translates into drone movement. Max rate. The max describes the speed at which the drone performs the movement indicated on the joystick. Let's imagine that you pass the max rate, low to low value. 10 for example. If you throw the device into a barrel, it will rotate very slowly. Too much moreover to keep control of it. If you specify a high value, 700 for example, the roll will be very fast. Too much if the value is very high. In one sentence, the max rate is how fast the drone is going to move in these different directions. Expo. This value modifies the way the drone will interpret joystick movements depending on the course. With a low value, the more you push the joysticks, the more the movement is marked, but in a linear way. With the high value, there's a little movement if you push the joysticks little, but if you push the joysticks fully, the movement will be multiplied. Increasing the expo value allows you to keep smooth movements with the joysticks near the center, but to obtain very abrupt movements at the end of the joystick stroke translation pushed all the way. In one sentence, Expo is how the drone interpret the stick movements on the remote controller. The bigger it is, the longer it's going to take the drone to react. Let's go. I'm going to show you how to modify those rates. Um, in, the, in the last and previous video, I made a mistake. I selected the better flyer rates for these DJI FPV drones. So I'm just going to switch to actual and here it is and I'm going to configure those rates as they are on my quad just to to find the you know the, like the same habits let's go I'm just going to define it to 120 so that the center sensitivity is not too aggressive max rate I'll define it at 360 those are degrees it means that if you push your joystick like fully, uh, we'll pivot, pivot at 360 degrees. 60, 360, and I usually define the expo at 0 0.6. I've tried 0 0.7 in the past, but I didn't like it. It was it took uh, too much time to respond. So here it is. When you have done that, you just press the save button press back button, zoom. Uh, usually I fly my camera tilt is at yeah, 30 degrees and let's go. <music>
you must remember. The impact of these settings is not easy to understand, especially since trial and error are only relevant by pushing them hard, at the risk of obtaining an almost uncontrollable device. In summary, center sensitivity controls how responsive the joysticks are when you move them. Max rate controls the speed of movements in all directions. Expo allows you to soften the controls in the center of the joystick and increase them sharply when you push them fully. Please note that you cannot adjust rates in normal and sport mode.